And it has been a big year for local musician and actor Kat Cunning. The Gresham born star is helping in 2020 by uplifting spirits with their rendition of a Christmas classic. Take a listen. Voice. Stunning. But hey, you may know them for some other new hits. Cunning recently signed a major record deal and is starring in Netflix's Emmy Award winning show Trinkets. And Kat joins us live right now to talk about their busy year and what is next for 2021. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. It's such a pleasure. Oh my gosh. Well, first off, congratulations because this year you were signed to Lava Records. Uh, yeah. You've got a whole bunch of new hits coming out. How have things been as an artist in 2020? They've honestly been pretty interesting. It's been good to have the time to write and feel like I can just focus instead of gigging and touring the whole year. And I can feel really confident about all the music I'm about to put out. Yeah, I, I don't know, at least if you've had a chance to listen, but I listened to Supernova the oh. other day. Fantastic single. So you. your, your voice is just incredible. And a lot of people are, are starting to discover your music through your acting career. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about this. I've started to read about it. and I know that you're in Trinkets on Netflix and it's won an Emmy. So how did you get involved with that? I think that I got cast partially because I said I was a real Oregonian. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, I auditioned for it like everybody else, but the show is sort of a love note to Portland and I'm a real musician. And I, when I read the role, I just felt like it was really me. And I'm lucky that everyone agreed and I got to bring some truth to the role. How has it been to find this role that combines your love of music and acting? I mean, it's got to be like the ultimate performance all wrapped up into one. It really, really was the most iconic first gig for me to be able to introduce myself to the world in a lot of ways as who I am and to bring me back to my roots to Portland. It was actually the first time I got to spend a lot of time back at home and with my family. And this is a really cool opportunity to have them watching right now. Hi, family. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. And I'm guessing uh, all of the filming wrapped before things got kind of crazy with the pandemic. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we actually wrapped the whole thing, the whole second season, now I guess a couple of years ago. Wow. TV's crazy the way it works, yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. But so new projects on the horizon too. I know you've got an upcoming movie coming out with J-Lo, <laughs> not a big deal. I mean, what was that like, getting to work on Marry Me? It was a dream. I mean, she, like me, started as a dancer and as a musician, and I was just very excited to be in proximity to a star like her, who has been a huge career inspiration for me my whole life. Um, and I got to say lines to her, and I didn't mess them up. So <laughs> <laughs> Winning. Them out. That's awesome. Well, you really are like the triple threat. So I know you also have some new music coming out next year. Do you want to share a little bit about it? Yes, I'm very excited to lead with a single that is an anthem uh, for everyone who has ever felt the need to escape and find who they are and find a community. But it's also um, an ode to trans masculine people. I'm a non-binary person and I'm really excited to share that with the world. I just leaked that for the first time. I'm telling you guys first, don't tell anybody. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're breaking news here on AM Extra. <laughs> I didn't know that's, that's awesome. I mean, how, how has that been received as you've become, I would imagine, kind of really a voice for people who probably up until recently have not felt like they've ever seen that represented in pop culture. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome to just be who you are. It feels great and people gravitate towards you when you say who you are, they, they need that representation. And I got to bring that to Trinkets as well by playing a queer character. And it's just amazing to see more and more of that happening on the internet in film and TV. Representation is so important. Well, it is, and that's fantastic. We're so honored that, that you would uh, share that here and that we can help be a platform to spread that message. Yeah, the authenticity yeah, is definitely something that a lot of people can relate to. Um, before we go, obviously, you know, you're an Oregonian and there's lots of Christmassy things going on here. Do you want to share some of your favorite holiday traditions or memories that you had in the Pacific Northwest? Of course. My dad loves Christmas. He's fallen off the roof twice putting <laughs> up Christmas lights. Um, and he... Uh, invented the tradition of jammies and java, which is where everybody gets a pair of pajamas and everybody drinks coffee together. And so I'm going to try and uphold that still in quarantine this year. Oh, that and, is so fun. Yeah. And, and also, thank you so much for playing a little bit of Oh Holy Night. That song is the song I chose to record because I used to get to see him 
sing it in church. So oh, that yeah. is fantastic. And and your recording is just absolutely beautiful. It, we thoroughly yeah. enjoyed it. I hope everyone can give it a listen this holiday season. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us, Kat.